My name is Birch Harris, and um, I just wanted to take a few minutes to share my experience with you and um, how I became a kidney failure, kidney dialysis, kidney cancer, kidney transplant, and now a great story of being a success story with the whole kidney ordeal. I first started in, uh, it was September of 2001, and um, I went into the emergency room at uh, New York University Hospital, in New York, of course, and um, I was diagnosed a couple days later with kidney failure due to chronic hypertension. After the um, initial in-center uh, experience of transferring from the hospital to in-center for my hemodialysis treatments, um, Everything really crumbled. I lost my business, um, became homeless, and um, I still was determined that I was going to beat this. After that, I got married. After things started to pick up a bit, I started a not-for-profit organization because I was determined um, to tell people and share with people my story and also try to help other people that might be a whole lot less fortunate than I was at that time. Um, we started to help homeless people, we started to feed people and do the things that I guess you could consider to be benevolent. Uh, in the process, I found out after having an ultrasound done that I had uh, kidney cancer. That's where I met Dr. Chen, really great guy, you should look him up. And he's uh, of course one of the, um, the doctors at Fox Chase uh, Cancer Center. Uh, after meeting Dr. Chen, I really had a good um, feel, uh, feeling or a, a sense of peace, so to speak, in my heart that the whole cancer situation was going to work out to be somewhat good because they caught it early um, because it was on the uh, kidney and there was pretty much all over the kidney, so to speak. He suggested that I should have the kidney removed and um, it turned out pretty good. Everything was really good. It was a real success story for the simple fact that I didn't have to do uh, chemo or any of the other um, treatments that can cause you to even feel worse. So since then I've had a kidney transplant and my wife Valerie, uh, she was the one who donated the kidney to me because she was a perfect match. How apropos. Perfect wife, perfect kidney. That must have been God. I don't know who else it could have been. <laughs> when even your mother's kidney didn't match. <laughs> But nonetheless, we went through the kidney transplant in February of this year, 2009, and um, I've been going through the recovery process. Pretty stressful, pretty grueling, but nonetheless, 10 months later, I'm doing a whole lot better. The Fox Chase experience, um, to be very, very honest with you, it left me in a position where I, I don't even think or talk about having cancer because it was so smooth. It really was so easy. Um, when I'm telling people my, my story regarding kidney failure, uh, dialysis, and the transplant, somehow I always forget to tell them about the cancer. And that's because Fox Chase and Dr. Chen and the whole team, they did such a great job. Everyone that I've dealt with at Fox Chase has really, really been warm. Um, I'm sure everybody deals with their own issues on a day-to-day -day basis, but from what I can see, everybody puts on their game face and they come to work and they're ready to make the difference in, in, in the lives of the people that they're servicing and that's what I experienced. So again, really consider Fox Chase. You're gonna have a really great experience.